The Outer Banks has been home to the wild horses for centuries. As far as locals are concerned, tourists should take a hands off approach when they see them. 10 on your side's Madison Pierman introduces us to one woman who's made it her mission to protect them. The wild horses in coastal North Carolina have been there for more than 500 years, but the efforts to keep them there, well, they've never been more important. Hey, how's it going? Megan Puckett does some pretty important work in her office. But outside is where the magic happens. You see, she's worked with the Kerala Wild Horse Fund for more than six years. Each year, she's had to remind vacationers don't touch the horses. But year after year after year, people continue to just get way too close. We know that everyone loves the horses. You know, people people don't come to Corova, they don't come to Swan Beach because they hate the horses, right? I mean, everybody who's trying to get close, everybody who's trying to approach a horse, they want a better picture, they want to be as close as possible. It's not because they hate the horses. If you truly love them, just follow the rules. Tourists come to visit the wild horses, but may not do any research. If they did, they would learn very quickly to admire them from afar and not feed them. Doing either puts you and the horse in danger. We got a call last summer that there was a horse around a house that, that looked like something was wrong with him. So um, I, I responded, got there, and immediately recognized that he was choking. He had been fed an apple by um, some people that were staying in a house, and, and we did everything we could. Could. He died in my lap. It's memories like these that keep Meg pushing to educate anyone willing to listen. We rely on the community and the people that come here to see them to be invested in their future. If you want the horses to stay here, you have to help us. Now, Megan still encourages tourists to come out and see the horses. She just wants them to educate themselves before they do. Madison Pierman, 10 on your side.